another year, another successful KCON. On June 23 and 24, the Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey was home to KCON 2018 NY presented by Toyota, and an audience of over 53,000 attendees. This is the fourth consecutive year of KCON USA's East Coast stop, and was bigger, brighter, and filled with more Korean culture and fun than ever. This year's convention certainly put the new in New York. Here's our overview on the new aspects of this year's KCON 18 NY 1. Pre-KCONM Wave Events The excitement of joining in the Halley Wave and interacting with your faves started earlier than ever, with KCON launching a series of very fortunate pre-KCON events through M-Wave. Fans could see their votes, submissions, and uploads before KCON Weekend flourish into real-life interaction during KCON. With my playlist KCON, fans could vote for a song of their favorite attending artist during the May 25th to June 11th event period to be performed on stage at KCON. This fan-voted playlist resulted in XID performing their booty-shaking hit song DDD. With KCON 2018 NY Fan Awards, fans could name an award for the KCON artist of their choice from May 21st to June 8th, with a chosen award presented directly to the artist at their fan engagement session. These range from From Us underscore 9 Adorably Accepting Cutest Rookie Group Award to 101 Hilariously Receiving Most Meat Consuming Group Award. HTTPS colon slash slash twitter.com slash official wave slash status slash 101433742140250521825028 The most exciting addition to this M Wave KCON event lineup is the Cover Star K event. Fans uploaded their K-pop dance cover videos to the M-Wave contest and, if chosen as a finalist, performed on KCON's outdoor stage for judges. The grand prize of performing on the stage of the M-Countdown pre-show went to Haru Dance for their charismatic mashup of Red Velvet's Be Natural and Look, and they killed it. HTTPS colon slash slash www.instagram.com slash p slash beak fuck you 6 hj slash question mark hl equals n. Artist Engagement Packs In the previous years, Artist Engagement Packs came bundled with your concert ticket. This year, concert tickets and Artist Engagement Packs were sold separately, with the exception of Diamond and Platinum tickets, to, in the words of KCON USA, provide all of our KCONers with more opportunities to see their favorite artist up and close. While the decision was met with some confusion and distaste from fans, others were pleased that they could splurge artist engagements and save a nice bird's eye view where they wanted to. KCON also introduced a gallery all-access pass, which allows you access to all the artist engagement sessions on a given day. Check out the view from the designated gallery section. Our review on the gallery artist engagement pack. Not worth a $45 price tag for a seat where the hockey house distorts the sound too much to hear Beijer Young's voice clearly, but perfect for days packed with more than one of your ULT groups. The convenience of getting to sit down and watch a full day's artist engagements triumphs over the stress of having to trade around audience passes. 3 STAR Live Talks KCON 18 NY held the worldwide debut of Star Live Talks. KCON artists sat on the KCON stage and answered a host's questions while interacting with fans. This was a great opportunity to see your faves up close and brightly lit, outside of artist engagement sessions or off the concert stage. For the artist engagement session Les Super Junior, it was the only opportunity to see them talk comfortably and joke around. They definitely joked around to the fullest extent, many laughs were had over Shindong being chosen as most likely to compete in the Olympics, and members showing off their marketing skills by selling the KCON stage microphone as a multifaceted product. These star live talks were also streamed live via Billboard, so you could join in on all the fun whether you were amongst the crowds at the KCON stage or in front of your laptop screen, clutching your Pentagon light stick. They provided a lot of fun moments and were a beautiful addition to KCON's star-packed schedule. For KCON Star Square, KCON 18NY once again amps up their artist engagements with the East Coast debut of the KCON Star Square. The KCON Star Square hosted two K-Conic events. Fans could take pictures at the squares for awesome star photo zones, stage M countdown, tower block, artist green room, and Republic of KCON. 
By posting these photos on social media using chosen hashtags, fans could win a photo up with a KCON artist. Check out EXID's Star Square appearance here. Fans could also purchase a fan letter kit from the KCON merch booth and send a handwritten letter to their favorite group at the Star Square Lucky Fan Letter Box. At the red carpet, each group picked out a letter from the box to read and respond. The KCON Star Square provided a lot of fun photo ops for fans, and even more fun for the lucky winners of its events. 5. A new layout. With KCON NY in its fourth year, it's seen a good amount of improvement and growth, with an emphasis on the growth. This year's KCON was filled with more activities, more sponsors, and more fun than ever, and it was all presented with a new and organized layout featuring two zones, AK Activity Zone and AK Culture Zone. The K Activity Zone held the new KCON Star Square, the dance workshop stage panels and workshops to interact with KCON's 140 Halley influences, and the fan club. The fan club meeting space was also a new addition to the KCON NY lineup, and presented the perfect space to play fun activities centered on your bias group and make new friends. The K Culture Zone held booths from KCON sponsors, a beauty block, the market, and the KCON stage. KCON sponsors Toyota, Amore Pacific, State Farm, McDonald's, Verizon Fis, Olive Young, BBGo, Torles Jours and Asiana Airlines. Fans had endless amounts of photo ops, activities, freebies, and opportunities to win artist engagement. Passes, concert tickets,